Exactly. Exactly. One of the things that like it's funny because a lot of people understand like how like some softwares work. Um changing pitches like as an engineer, right? Let's go back to the engineering hat. Mm. Uh pitch correction. Yeah. I like pitch. Pitch correction. Shut this up, is my one engineer thing. for lying in my face for years. This is one thing that is uh changed the game entirely. You need to make sure you have an engineer who can correct your pitches. Depending on auto tune is not the only it's not the only way, you know. There's a lot more to it. So that's the if you're trying to go the more natural route. If you want to go with that whole hundred percent like yo, T Pain your Tang or or, or or like, you know, if you're trying to go that route, that's cool, but yeah. Yo. I cannot sing as good as I sound on my records. Well, yeah, that's the case with most people who see engineers who know what they're doing, you know. But uh that's yeah. the key. And I'm like, I'm. That's the key. I, and it was, it was ironic, right? Because at one point, I'm shitting on my man's like, never fucking use auto tune, but pitch correct me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of people that are like, yo, do both, you know. And I also know that there's a lot of people who can't, who don't know how to pitch correct, you know. So like, I'm like, okay. That's a very fun thing to do, man. That's like the most fun part of engineering for me is literally pitch correction. Yeah, I think oh. it's dope. Like, here's the thing. Um, I, I, My attitude towards what you do as an engineer has changed a lot in the last, like, since I started this project for Real Rails and I've talked to a few engineers. And I started seeing, sure. like, the idea of a song because I feel like a lot of us as MCs have egos. And so, like, I'm Mr. One Take, okay? Like, I'm meaning I'll do, like, 70,000 one takes and you know how much time I honestly wasted if I yeah, really yeah. am being practical like if I'm really thinking about this shit I could dude put out two songs a week if I just ever teach myself how to change how I record okay do yeah. you know that you do know that yeah. because you oh, know for that sure. you're an engineer I'd be, I'd be telling people this all the time like, no 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 bring me back I'm like but that was good you just got to take off the end and but you don't understand. You know? It's like in my heart and soul, I'm like, but bro, I got to be able to spit this shit at any time. And now I'm in my 30s, right? And I'm like, I don't remember half my songs. But the songs are still <laughs> dope. I have to now still spend an hour and a half before I go perform anything, memorizing my own shit. You got to learn, learn your words. So it was like all that ego. When I really started running numbers recently, I'm like, I don't even remember the songs now. I can't. I can barely yeah. do half my catalog. And at one point, yeah, I could spit this whole thing it. verbatim. And I'm like, that's wow. That's basically it. But there yeah. is always a point in time when you could. But then, that's what makes it, that's what makes it so, so dope. And that's what makes this process so amazing because you're building now. Mm. So you have your foundation is your tape. Your foundation is your single. Mm. All of these little projects that you, that's what you're building on. But like, eventually, I guess you're going to be over here. What I realized talking to engineers is time is money and engineers do know yeah. how to time manage better than I do. I'm actually a shit time management person. Um, I'm doing, I always take on too much. It is what it is. Um, I've learned how, but like that's one a, of the that's a process, one of the things is getting over your ego. The truth is I could probably record an album in a third of the time. If I literally just keep shit that sounds good and just keep going from there. One change. Bro. If everybody, again, if you have a dope engineer, trust your engineer. I do trust my engineer. He's if you have dope. a dope engineer, trust your engineer. If you don't have a dope engineer, find yourself a dope engineer. Yeah, shout out. Find another engineers. artist that, find artists that, who have the sound that you're, you actually enjoy. Yo, listen, don't be afraid. Let, let, let's talk about this for a minute, man. Let's, let's pause the it. whole story for a minute. No, this is the best part. We're in the three hour part. This is where we get into yeah. this shit. <laughs> Let's do it like this. If you have other art, if you, this doesn't even have to relate to music. This relates to everything. If you have um, different businesses and different people around you that are being really successful at what they're doing, talk to them. Ask them, yo, 
uh, is there any advice that you could tell me? There, yo, that's not a, a sign of weakness. Nah, not at all. That's not a sign of weakness. That's a yo. If you have questions, ask them your questions. I tell people this all the time. If you feel say that there's something going on in your life and you don't know what's really happening and you don't know what to do, if you think it's something that you want to ask me, if it's not too personal or whatever the case is, ask me what's up. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll give you an unbiased motherfucking opinion. No, but you know like, it's even like. It's all over the self help books. It's in like the laws of power. It's all over everything, man. It just approach Understand? experts with a degree of humility. And because so many people approach experts so incorrectly all the time, that just a degree of humility is often enough. Like, as an example, sure. um, I approached a beach maker, a beat maker, and said, Listen, I want to do a thing. Let me send you some cash for the beat. And the first thing he said is, fuck the cash, bro. I fucks with you. I'm going to do it. And then he told me after, you got to understand, dude, nobody comes at me like that. So many people yeah, exactly. try to get free shit. I'm like, wow. So I ended up not having to pay, which is dope. Because of that. But like in my heart and soul, I was down. Like, whatever. I just budgeted out what I could afford. And then if he wasn't whatever, I would have found the next guy, you know? like Yeah, yeah. Or whatever you do, you'd be like, okay, cool. I'll send you a deposit right now. You know? Yo. I swear when people do this sort of stuff with me, I'm like, yo, shit, I'm putting you at the top of the motherfucking list right now. Mm. That's right. just, you know, put your money where your mouth is. And if you're asking something and you have money ready to go, that shows that you're dead ass about what you're asking for. That's true. You know, you know that was one of those, like, it's like. A way of, it's a way of business. And I've, listen, <sighs> I've worked with so Preach many it. different people. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I've worked with so many different people where it's like, Okay, yo, uh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and uh, I'll, I'll give you the money next week. So like, what? Try doing that at Walmart. You know, it doesn't work that way. Nah, it doesn't man. work that way at all, man.